Hello everybody, welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Astrox. Okay, so what are we doing today? Well, I logged out of the game and now we're back in and if you notice, those guys we killed I think are gone, but then these ones came in. So I think more spawn anyways, which is nice. So we're going to, so I'm going to change out my lasers, uh, let's see here. I'm going to do some mining, I think. So we're going to do some mining because we need some money to buy that ship. So let's click on the station to dock with it. Then we're going to go into the garage. We're going to exchange one of these. We'll leave one of the... No, no. I feel like doing both mining. We need this, though. So we're only going to have the one cargo space. And if you look under shipyard, you'll notice here that we'll need 4,000. So a full load will probably do it. So if we undock here... Okay, I'm just going to check the sound for a moment because it sounds loud to me. No, that's the right... Just that song is loud. Well, I'll find out. This is the second episode in a row I'm recording today. So yeah, well, I'll have it fixed in the third episode here. But anyways, so let's carry on with what we're doing. So we need to do some harvesting. So let us just go do some harvesting. So I'm not going to worry about that box. We're going to fly over there and you know, collect that Adam Adamite. So there's Adamite, Adamite. If we go list the asteroids, we can see them all here and, there's, and they're all the same material. Sometimes you have a chance of getting a rare material in here. But I don't know, I've yet to see that happen. So we're going to go and we're going to activate these mining lasers. We're going to fly over here and we're going to you know, do some of that. I like the effect of the, the star there. It kind of has that, like it's dying and, and stuff and then all of a sudden it'll flare up and it'll be a bright star and then it'll be kind of like, it's kind of weird that those happen. Then we have all these asteroids here which are pretty cool. I like this part of the game, the harvesting and it's on a I different pace, right? It's not always combat. So now we have both of these running, and now they're not completely draining our power, and we're filling up much faster. So I'm going to spend my time here harvesting, and I'll be back as soon as I'm done that. Perfect. So there's a new, uh, there's a new pirate. The raiders detected. Look at that. Woo! First rock mine. Yay! So it counts. It's because we destroyed an adamantite resource. That's cool. It's going to go to the next one. Going to carry on. So this is what it's about, just kind of harvesting. These will all respawn when we come back to the game. So if I was to leave this sector and come back, then these will all come back. So you can turn this off so it doesn't respawn. And whatever's here is here, and that's it. And it's all used up. So I'm not sure how I feel about that, but you know, right now we're just playing with the default settings. And yeah, and then we'll go from there. So we're completely full. Nice. So this, this stone will regenerate slowly over time. So if you notice, it slowly goes up. But yeah, but I'll meet you back at the station. We'll fly back and yeah, I'll meet you once we're almost there. See, we're nearing the station. And it looks like that ship entered that. We, we can kind of turn our ship, but it's kind of doing it on, on its own. And bang, here we are. Okay, so let's see here. Let's check under jobs to see if we have anything that we can turn in. No, Plastite or Dynex. Haven't found these materials yet, so who knows about those. Transport, we can't really transport anything because we can't buy anything anywhere. All right. And then there's these kill, these recons, so these ones will always be around. So we'll, we'll collect those once we get those, so no big deal. So, okay, so... And we're not going to refine them into those salt crystals or aluminum shards because we don't need that. So we'll just sell. Bang. And there we go. Let's see here. And so we're at 3,700. So we're almost there. So one more load and we will have you know, plenty of cash. So let's go back over. Oh, where are we? Let's go back to these. Let's just pick the closest one and yeah, go there. Shouldn't matter, right? Uh, the, the the bright light of the thrusters, it's almost too bright. But here we go, we're flying off towards... See, now the star is all bright and lit up. It's kind of weird how it does that. 
Uh, there should be some scouts there, maybe. If you list pirates. Oh yeah, there's tons of pirates. We'll go after those guys in a moment. Once we have everything... Once we have our new ship, then I think we'll go after them. Because we can put guns on the new ship and then one mining beam and so then you can kind of fly around with extra storage and stuff you'll see you'll see it'll be really cool or I think you still only have access to two slots but you will will configure for fighting with the armor plating and stuff and shielding and yeah you'll see it'll be really fun so so yeah see and this is part of the game is just trips going on a, a trip so let's zoom out see what the sector looks like Let's see here. Yeah, see, there's the groups of pirates basically. Now you can fly into dead space, so you can kind of exit this circle and be in this space here. But I'm not sure how exactly that works out, so we'll have to explore that one day, maybe with a, a more advanced ship. <laughs> and see, this is all we're doing just we're harvesting these rocks, filling up the cargo space. Watching pirates, there you go, now the star is doing its thing again. Very interesting. But I'll meet you back at the base. We're coming in on the station now here. I'm going to begin docking procedures. Bang. Okay, so now we can refine another load. I'm just going to do a quick, I don't think they change that quickly. No, they don't. That's what I thought. Sell, sell, sell. So now we're at 5,893. So now what we need to do is we need to make sure that we take off everything, right? Now here are all our, our existing modules. Then we're going to go into your shipyard here. We're going to buy the infiltrator because that has three. Um, so these you know, just mean slots, right? So there's there's the the three slots for things like the fuel tanks, the shields, and armor plating. Then there's a four active slots, so for for beam weapons or for the mining weapons, whatever, right? So so we can definitely kind of do some interesting configurations with this guy. So we're gonna buy him. Go you bang. And then we're actually gonna sell this ship because we don't need this one anymore. It's a tiny tiny ship. We could leave it in the hangar, but I'm not going to. Just gonna do that and yeah, now we can go into a garage. See, now you notice we have more slots. So now we can put in our light energy. Uh, let's go look at. So we have 1,892. Let's see what kind of weapons. Should we do more lasers? Probably because they seem to do the trick. So, how many do we have of that stuff? We have two small lasers. So we can actually probably fit both of these on. And we can probably even fit both of the mining lasers on there and then what else can we purchase so this is for better thrusting so this will speed up our ship a little bit uh, do we, is there light armor ah this is what I want I want light armor and light shields and then we go garage and then we'll put these bad boys in place so this will give us more hit points and more shield points basically so we can withstand more hits our cargo space will be very limited but I think our cargo space is still okay uh, let's see if we go ship you'll see that our cargo is still 30 slots so you we should be able to pick up some stuff some boxes if any drop and if there's items well that's fine and dandy but this is the combat configuration I guess we could change the fuel tank, you take that out and put a cargo box in there. That could, we could do that. But, yeah, I don't know. I just, oh no, wait, that's not fuel tank, that's light energy. So, yeah, I know. These ships are, are still small. So, it's just the way it is. Okay, so, now with that all has been purchased. Okay, so now we're off. Let's see here. This is our new ship. Doesn't that look cool? That looks pretty amazing. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Nice. Let's just take a quick screenshot there. Okay, so now let's take out some of these bad boys here. So what are we going to take out first? Let's take these ones out because they are far. 
Let's turn on our lasers. See, we got way more shields and way more hull. So I think this ship will fly a little bit. No, it's a little bit slower, so we might need better engines on it. Let's kind of zoom in on this thing. As it gets closer, it's going to shoot. But that will be a while. Ooh, more are coming in, more are coming in. That's fine with me. I usually use this too for targeting, because it helps. Ah, that's a lot of recons. We're going to have to take them out. It's an active sector. So, yeah, see, so must be tied in with the settings. There we go, there we go. It's going to go boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Bang, and then that one, bang. Doesn't even stand a chance. Boy, oh boy. Okay, salt crystals. Okay, so. Brutal, brutal. Okay, let's fly, let's fly to the next ones. 146, hey? So that would be flying in that direction. Yeah, let's fly to those ones. Sometimes you have to click on these again to resort. The sorting kind of has issues sometimes. So let's fly up. Let's fly up and take out these guys. Oh, look, a big transport cruiser is mining that. That's kind of cool. I have the graphics turned up all the way in the game. Boom. And see, so I, I use this because you can click on it, targets them. Boom. Done. Only one of them dropped a crate. Food rations. So we just got to watch this cargo space. Where are we in relation to the base we're already out here so we might as well take these guys out yeah so I think we have enough of everything so now it's just a matter of blowing these guys up and then completing this this sector I think we'll we'll do that in this episode here we'll complete the sector and hopefully we can kind of move relatively quickly on completing them and upgrading our ship and whatnot let's resort Bang, and then this guy, bang, look at that. Pick up that crate. Yeah, we're gonna go back and sell, I think. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go back and sell because we are, are getting full and this is good money. So where is the station? It should be over here, right there. So yeah, I'll meet you down over at the station. Okay, here we are, we're coming in for a landing. Then we'll sell our wonderful stuff. Okay. So nothing refined. There's no more modules. But there is cargo. And this is what we've been collecting. So can we... Is there any jobs that we can... No, we, we need 72 at least. So we need bigger ships, right? Because our ships can't really handle any of these jobs. These don't really come into play, I think, later. And I think if we play on harder settings, then these would make more sense, I think. But yeah, so in the meantime, we're just going to sell all this stuff because it's all your good money. It's good for repairing with, right? And I'm just going to kind of double check these things a little bit. Oh, yeah, missiles. Missiles are pretty fun stuff, too. They're pretty powerful, but they take uh, cargo space. So yeah, we'll probably experiment with those later. And there are classes. And you can also get new, so like fuel chemistry. This will will decrease uh, your fuel burn reduction, right? So that means you can fly better. This will increase your laser damage. So I'll, I was thinking of doing this stuff, but that causes, but you need to harvest all the resources. So I think before we move on from this this map, we'll make sure we harvest all the resources. So let's go and take out some more pirates. Let's go for these ones way over here. They're far away, but. Yeah, I always like to do the furthest ones away and then work on on my way in. So so I'll meet you down over there. Do you have your drinks and your tasty treats? I'm not sure if I asked that, but yes, I definitely have my drink. I'm all out at the moment, but I'll have to get more. And this guy. Boom. Boom, bada bing. Okay, we collected credits and some black stone. Nice. So where's the next... Group. They keep respawning. All right, we'll take these guys out, and then we'll get the next group behind it. Come on, let's fly. Man, this game's amazing. I just 
I love this. I love the atmosphere. I just love not having to compete with other players. Yeah, I guess that's the neat thing. It's you know, there's no you know you know, like players to to hunt you down and stuff like that. But who knows? Maybe there'll be multiplayer down the road. Maybe the developer is looking at doing that. He's he, yeah, he posted up something you know, about the game being on sale at the time of this recording, and so that's kind of cool. So if you haven't picked the game up, then do so. Maybe if he gets enough you know, interest in the game, maybe there'll be you know, more uh, you know, like multiplayer modes. Maybe maybe there'll be other modes of the game. You maybe more more settings that can be you tweaked. I don't know. I think that'd be kind of neat. Let's take out these guys because these guys are closer. Let's take those guys out, and then we'll get those guys down you know, over there. It's kind of in a bad spot, kind of near the warp gate here. Just make sure we can't really see much. And that guy, bang! Okay, pick up a box. No, I don't want to warp ship. Good thing it's not set to auto warp. How about if we? So this is where we can turn our ship around and you can you pick up stuff like that. Ooh. No, it's stuck on the target thing. Uh, this is how you clear a target. There we go. Now you gotta hold it. Yeah, here we go. So you, so you can kind of control it with WASD, but then the mouse is kind of funny because you gotta rotate around and stuff like that. Okay, perfect. So let's see, where are those guys? Let's just click on this. Let's click on those ones. I think once we clear these bad boys out, then uh, we won't have to worry about any more. There'll be a bigger contingent that will come out of the portal. And I think once they come out there, I'll go back to the base. I'll sell the stuff that we have. And then we'll kind of attack that kind of contingent of pirates that will come. So, you'll see how we complete the level here really sh uh, quickly. See right here, Recon Officer. So they come. See, see so Recon Officer goes, Today's a sad day indeed. I had, I had a dream last night that I would visit a system in the sector that I had not yet before. It was there I would meet my maker. Fate, perhaps, is the cruelest of them all. Godspeed. <laughs> so there's... There's the pirates down there, and they will drop, he will drop some rare items. So, where are we? Let's fly back to base there, and I'll meet you down over there, and we'll sell our stuff. Um, actually, yeah, I'll meet you down over, where did they spawn in? I'll zoom out here. I'll meet you down over here. <laughs> Once we're done here, I'll meet you over there, and we'll take care of them. Okay, if you notice, there's a missile launcher here. So, when you first install one, you have to come to this screen and you have to right-click to load it with what you have. Now, if you keep right-clicking, you can load it with different missile types if you have different missile types. So, this one won't shoot them very fast, so I only bought 10. And then we do have to click them to arm them. And if you notice, our cargo is a little bit used up, but that's fine. As we kill them, we'll use... We'll fill it up with stuff that we collect off of them. So let us go list. Let's go straight for the recon officer. Now I heard if you don't kill off all the pirates and just leave one B, then they will all respawn slowly back. But I'm not sure if that is a setting that we have in this kind of map. And I think I keep saying that, but yeah, so it might be a little bit of repetition. But here, but once we take care of this officer. And that's it. Then we'll take care of the little recon guys, and then we're we're good. We're good to move on to the next uh, you know, the next map there. So it's pretty exciting times. Uh, 240 kilometers. I'll also probably get a speed upgrade, so that way then we'll retrofit the ship for mining and and speedy travels, which will use the fuel. But that's okay. You know, I think this is kind of like our main stats. And we do have our character, we're still kind of working on leveling him, him up, and it's it's kind of tricky to get experience, but I think you get experience from killing these guys. So, once we get into range, we're going to launch a missile. Watch. Oh, that's exciting. Ooh. Zigzag around. 
Here we go. Here we go. Boom! Not even a chance. Bang! Bang! Oh boy! Pick up the crates. There's more crates. I think that's it. So let's see what do we collect? Food rations, crate damage. You, the level one officer, has been defeated. You gained an additional 1,000 credits for, for this matching this menace of the Gordemi. Local inmates will forever be in your debt. That's cool. And I think you do get stuff. Uh, let's see. If I click on our cargo, and yeah, I don't think you can look at it here. You can only look at it in your station, so you can't really look at it here. So I tell you what, we'll fly back to the station. Now since we can do things unmolestedly, we'll fly back to the station and retrofit our ship for mining. And yeah, so I'll meet you back at the base and then we'll call it a day. Okay, here we are, on final approach. Woo, I wonder if that guy went inside the ship, probably. You too bad we don't look like that doing that going in. Okay, so let's go make sure that we don't have anything that we need. Perfect. So now if you go into garage. Oh, it looks like he didn't drop anything. The last time I played the game, he dropped uh, like a rare item. Huh. Well, that's odd. So basically what you can do sometimes is in the market, there'll be um, trade goods. There'll be stuff you can buy components. In the laboratory, you'll be able to kind of put your module in there and then kind of add materials and make a whole new kind of module but yeah we'll discover that as we go I guess so university I do want to do this I want to buy fuel chemistry so we purchased that and then now I do want to increase this laser beam focus because it's what we're using primarily right now and so that needs another 5,000 so which means we need to retrofit our ship not for combat but for for mining operations, so we'll do that. Maybe I'll get rid of. Uh, maybe I'll get rid of the fuel tank. We'll keep one. Oops. I'm tempted at getting two more mining modules, but in theory, we could actually use laser and this for defense as well in more hostile galaxies. So let's actually take a look at how much. These miners will cost. Let's buy two of these bad boys. One, two, and then we can equip them on. Perfect. So this will fill these up really fast, and that's what we want. I'm tempted at buying the the ship upgrade too, but I don't think I have enough cash. Oh no, we do. 307. We'll buy the pacer. See how this stuff works. Let's put the pacer on. Okay, let's check this out. And and then we'll call it a day. Okay, so it looks like I can go top speed at 8. I have 100 fuel. Our cargo is at 530 maximum. So let's turn these bad boys on. Let's fly to the other side of the map. Let's see. So now we'll be double the speed, right? So are these all adamant? Yeah, they're all adamant might or whatever. Let's do for the 527 one. Yeah, so look at that. We're much, much faster, but look at the fuel. Oh! Or does it burn? I guess it's worth the double the speed, right? So, double speed means less time of traveling back and forth. And I think we'll make it back, and the cost of the tank. Is like dirt cheap because of the simple fact that we're mining, right? So, you know, there might be ways of making the economy you know, harder, but which is fine, which is fine. So, let's just keep going this way. Yeah, it's not too bad, it's pretty quick. The fuel cost, we'll just have to watch this when it gets down to 20. We'll have to make sure we get back, but I think it won't go down unless we're moving. And we'll just kind of do the closest asteroids and then we'll just yeah just carry on down the list so we, I will continue doing this oh and we're out of energy actually which sucks that means we have to let that recharge yeah 
Okay, so maybe the the energy recharger we do need that on us because this is gonna take forever. So I'll be yeah. So anyways, folks, thank you everybody for watching. I'm gonna spend some time mining here, and yeah, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye bye.